Today, we're opening Yu-Gi-Oh packs that range from $1 to $1,000. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video. Today, we're opening 14 different packs that range from $1 to $1,000. So the second one we will have, we'll have a $2.50 pack. We'll have a $4 pack. This one will be around $8 USD. We have a $10 pack, a $15 pack, and these are all just going up and up. We've got $20 pack. All these will be open in this video. $25 pack, and we're going to keep them inside these sleeves to keep the mystery going. This one will be $40. This one will be $50, $75. And by the way, the, all these prices are an estimate of what the price is. $100, a $250 Yu-Gi-Oh pack, and finally, we will finish with the the $1,000 Yu-Gi-Oh pack, which you guys can leave comments down below. Guess what you think is in each envelope. But before we hop into it, we have a very large giveaway today. I'll be giving away all of these booster packs. First edition Soul Fusion. We got a couple of 10 of Ancient Battle packs and then 19 Maximum Gold First Edition packs. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think will be in the envelopes or let me know what pack you would like to see in the opening. Let's get started. I'm super excited for this opening. So the $1 pack, obviously you guys can guess. It's one of the lowest and cheapest packs you can buy in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's the Speed Duel Scars of Battle. So all of these Speed Duel packs are very cheap. It was difficult to find a pack that actually goes for like a one-ish dollar. So this is probably the cheapest Yu-Gi-Oh! pack you can buy. And the reason for that is people just don't really care for Speed Duel that much. So we're starting off obviously at the lower tier with the Speed Duel and we are eventually going to get into some crazy packs. We have the Fortress Whale, Ally of Justice, Core Destroyer, Spellbinding Circle, and there's only four, four cards in these packs. So... A Command Knight, just a Command Knight on the first pack, but we have a long way to go. Let me know in the comments which pack you think will have the most expensive pull. You could say $1,000, but you never know in Yu-Gi-Oh! if you're going to pull something crazy out of a lower tiered pack. Next up, we have the $2.50 pack. So we're getting more in the area of, you know, not great uh, core sets and stuff like that. Oh, then this is a side set. Duelist pack, Dimensional Guardians. This is one of the worst sets ever in terms of, you know, what I can remember it's not a good set. You know, Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians. That's why it's in the $2.50 one. So we have the Red Gardener. Cool. Cool to see that. A Twill, a Twill, a Twill Cyber. <laughs> okay. Red Wyvern. Cool. Star Liege Paldynamo. And the Fright for Daredevil. I don't think I've ever seen that card, but that is a strange one. So we have gotten the worst two out of the way. Now we're on to Can we get to some good stuff. So far, not the most exciting packs, but let's see what we can get to. Number four, the four, well, it's number three technically, but four dollars. Okay, here we go. Ooh, a dark Neo Storm. So these do have the potential to pull the legendary Fusion Destiny. So this is a pretty nice one. We tried to open a lot of these on stream the other day, and you guys, if you were there, you know what happened. It uh, sort of blew up. So Fusion Destiny is only a super rare. It's like $25. So you can get a $25 super. Not bad for a $4 pack. Let's see. We got the uh, Krialtar, the Impcantation Orig Originator. Wow. Deuce, Excrawler, Deus. Wow, I'm just messing everything up. Salaman, Great Fennec. And Neo Super Quantal Mech King Blaster Magna. All right, so that's just a super. So far, we have not pulled anything. Dino Wrestler Terra. Oh, they have a Link Monster. Cool, I've never seen that. Okay, we're getting into the more expensive packs, the $8 packs. What can we get? We have, oh, the Maximum Gold El Dorado. And you guys have a chance to win a lot of these. So let's see. Can we pull the Access Code Talker? Still a very expensive card. Uh, this Maximum Gold tends to have a pretty high value on their packs because they don't give you a lot of packs and the retail is pretty expensive for them. So let's see if we can pull. There's two gold rares in each of these. Majesty's Fiend. I'm excited to get to those top uh, tier packs that we're going to be opening. Ooh, a Rocket Tracer. I don't think that one's very good. Code Talker. Numeron Calling. And... Ooh, Rescue Cat and a Firewall Dragon, the one we can never find. Firewall and Rescue Cat, that is not a bad pack right there. On to our $10 booster pack. So what are we going to have in the $10 slot? This is like our last low-ish tier. We have the 10 of Ancient Battles. This is a pretty nice pack because inside you can get, you know, the Cross Out Designator, which did fall off, the Triple Tactics Talents, and many other cool Ultra Rares in here. And plus, there's a ton of cards in it, which makes the value a little bit higher. We've got the Lantern Shark, Magical Broker. Awakening the Possessed, a Gaga Gigobite. Buzzsaw Shark, very cool. Diced Dice, okay, Dice Dice. Awakening the Possessed, Warning Point Super Rare, Knocked Vision Dragon. After this, we should get either our Secret or our Old. I think Secret. Ooh, Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. That's a funny one. 
Uh, Dark back getting beast and the virtual world GG. Okay, I don't think that was a very good pack, but still pretty cool. The Dracoon, but you do love to see this card. It looks very, very nice. Now we're on to some serious stuff. $15 pack. What will be inside? A Toon Chaos first edition pack. Wow, look, this thing's like wrapped around very strangely, but inside you can pull some big collector rare cards. So let's see if we can get something cool like that. We have the Supervised. We could get Blackluster Soldier, Stardust Dragon. You could get Chaos Emperor Dragon. There's a lot of really good ones. Cyframe Gear Gamma is very valuable in here. That's like a $280 card on TCG. Solid Soldier. If you get, well, this one, no, there's that version, but there's also the Collector Rare. So that's also very nice. Chaos Valkyria. Oh, Chaos Zune Sangan and Stardust Dragon. So nothing huge there, but this is still probably worth a dollar or two. So that's not bad. Now we are on to the $20 pack. What will be inside? I can't even remember what exactly all these are. Oh, Invasion of Chaos. So this is the reprint set, which makes it, you know, less valuable than the original, but still pretty valuable. Around $20 when you resell, when they're resold on uh, eBay, I guess, or wherever they're resold. They're more like eight bucks if you find them in store, but they are very tough to find these days. So we have a Pinch Hopper. Let's see if we can pull the Blacklister Soldier. You guys know what we're looking for. We've done it every time. Chaos Emperor Dragon, the Dark Magician Chaos. We got Blazing and Patch. We got the Boganian. So this will be, it will be the next card. So we're going to go like this. So this will be a rare, I think. Yeah, because there's a rare and a foil. So that's not a big deal. Torpedo Fish, Terra King, Salmon, Ojama, Delta, Hurricane. Soul Absorption. Boganian. Oh. Oh, there is something, a reload. We got a super rare, okay. Not bad, it's not the best card ever. I think the value is pretty low on this thing, but still, that is a very old school card that people use in those weird decks where they're trying to draw a lot of cards. We have now entered $25 territory. So it's getting pretty expensive. I mean, $25 for one pack is a lot. We have the Crossroads of Chaos. So inside we could pull the Ghost Rare Black Rose Dragon. The Black Rose Dragon goes for three, $400. I'll pop the price up on the screen just in case we pull it, um, which that is the goal. It's a one in 288 packs to pull a Ghost Rare though. So it is very difficult. We have one chance right here. Let's see what we can do. We've got the Iron Chain Blaster, Revival Gift, Morphtronic Datatron. We've got the Gozen Match, which I just figured out was in the set like the other day. It's a very good trap card. And then... The Mad Archfiend. Actually, I think it comes after this. I think there's also a rare. Ooh, Botanical Lion. It was a foil. Okay, we've got a super rare. Botanical Lion. Very cool. You'll love to see that. I mean, it's got like a rose around its uh, as its mane. That's very interesting. Hence the botanical part, but still pretty cool. We are only about like halfway through. We've still got a 40, a 50, a 75, 100, 250, and of course, a $1,000 booster pack. So let's get into the $40. By the way, this video was inspired by my friend Pokerev. I've seen a lot of his videos where he does similar stuff like this. So like, you know what? That would be fun to do with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So shout out to Rev. Make sure you guys go check him out if you enjoy Pokemon. Oh, it's not been anything. This is, oh, you guys have seen these recently. McDonald's pack one. Hopefully we can get some redemption for that McDonald's pack video the other day. Go check it out if you didn't see it. Now we want to pull the Millennium Shield or the Cosmo Queen. So here we go. This is actually from, if you guys remember the video where I opened 47 of these, I had 50 and I opened 47 and kept three. This is one of the ones I didn't open. We did not get the Cosmo Queen. We got five Millennium Shields. Will this be the, the one that has the Cosmo? If it does like two years later, that's going to be insane. So there's only two cards in here. I would take another Millennium Shield though. So very cool. I don't know if it's at the front or the back. I can't remember. Hopefully, we can pull Millennium Shield, Cosmo Queen, any foil. Fairy's Gift. Okay, next card. Stuffed Animal. Okay, so it was not hiding in there for two years, so that's good to know, I guess. On to the $50 booster pack. Here we go. What will it be? $50. Magic Ruler. This is original print. It's not first edition or it'd be even more expensive, but it is original print 2002 Unlimited. Let's see if we can pull a Relinquished, a Blue Eyes Tune, Dragon, Serpent Night Dragon, which now I have that Serpent Night Dragon PSA 10 and the Blue Eyes Tune, so I'm feeling good. I have a Relinquished as well. All my favorite cards out of Magic Ruler, I now have PSA 10 First Edition, which is a pretty awesome feeling. So we have a Umi Ruka. There's still a lot that I don't have, but those are my favorites. Griggle. We've got a Final Destiny, which you discard five cards to destroy all cards on the field. Um, you know, just... Lightning Storm, but uh, a lot worse. Uh, Penguin Knight, which I guess that's not every card, but pretty funny. Penguin Knight, it will be after this. 
Giant rat. The rat foils us again. We got the Ryu Ran. You love to see this. A vicious little dragon sheltered in an egg that looks deceptively harmless. Deceptively, because he has 2,200 attacks. So, yeah, he is definitely not harmless. $75 pack. Wow, we have, we've opened some bangers today. $75. We're getting into the big stuff. This is... A power of the duelist first edition not just first edition hobby pack and what that means is you can pull supers and ultra rares as ultimate rare so you can pull like all the big cards like dark neos flare neos all that stuff as ultimate rare out of this pack so let's see if we can do that that would be very cool also dasher throw that out there destiny hero dasher as a rare is like very expensive thanks to uh destroy phoenix enforcer the engine uh so that would be cool you can't get the ultimate because that's a retail ulti which is kind of a bummer but that's okay we can pull a lot of other good stuff. So we have the Wonder Garage. Baby Sarasaurus. We've got a contact. Can we pull any ultimate rare? It would be huge. Any of the hobby ones are really good out of the set. We've got a Crystal's Dolphin. Let's let's do the quick um, the quick um, pack trick, whatever it's called. Crop Circle. we got the Defender. Destiny Mirage. Bitleon. Bit <laughs> Bitelon. What am I talking about? Crystal's Dolphin. And... Spell calling, just a regular rare. No, <laughs> it was still cool though. We're down to the final three, $100, $250 and $1,000. Yes, this is a very expensive opening. So if you have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we'll be doing more cool stuff like this in the future. $100 pack, here we go. I don't remember what this pack is to be honest. Uh Oh yeah, oh yeah, Legacy of Darkness, first edition pack. Inside we could pull Injection Fairy Lily, we could pull Tyrant Dragon, we could pull Yamada Dragon, we could pull so many cool cards. Aeronite Parshath is also an ultra rare in here. Some great super rares. Let's see what we can get. We have the Serpentine Princess. Spirit Ryu. Spiritual Energy Energy Settle Machine. Super Robo Lady. And now we do the pack trick real quick to go like that. We've got the Hunter with Seven Weapons. Lizard Soldier. Disappear. The Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. Super Robo Lady. And here it comes. Here is the final pull. Shadow Tamer. Regular rare. No. <laughs> Give us something, please. Final two packs. And yes, when you open so few packs, it's unlikely that you get something crazy. So if we do, we're going to lose it. We have a $250 pack here. Inside is a pack that I've not opened in a long time. Tournament Pack 2. This was actually sent to me by Jose to open up for him, so I figured we'd throw this in the video. This is a very, very rare pack because inside you can find the Morphing Jar. It could have a Jinzo Jar, which is an error where the Morphing Jar has a Jinzo printed onto it. It's even more valuable then. Let's see if we can pull it. It's an ultra rare. One in 108 to get the Morphing Jar. To get the error, obviously, it's even less, so whew, let's see what we can do. It's only three cards. So let's see. Well, is it at the front? I can't remember. Faith Bird. All of these commons are like crazy value because this is original printing for them. So insane. Faith Bird. Crawling Dragon number two. Very nice. Isn't this the guy we saw at Rex versus Weevil in one of the first episodes? And a Dancing Elf. So not even a rare, but this Dancing Elf, I think, is over $100. So that is a... It was at one point. So it might be down, but it was a very expensive one. I figure it is still very expensive because they have not printed it. Dancing Elf. So I think overall, he actually probably got pretty decent value out of these commons. Because, you know, I guaranteed a rare, not guaranteed a foil, but these commons are very, very valuable. So very good. And the final act of the video. $1,000 booster pack. Do you guys have any idea what could be in here? Take your guesses in the comments. What could it be? $1,000 booster pack. We have first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. We have opened many of these on the channel. And we've had some good luck and some bad. So let's see what we can do here. Any foil we pull is a huge win. So let's see if we can do it. Inside, we could pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon, which in PSA 10 has gone up to $100,000. You can see the Dark Magician, which we pulled with Leonhardt. Red Eyes Black Dragon, we pulled like three years ago at this point to start off the channel, basically. And many other cool things like Exodia, which we pulled with Rhyme Style. There's all the limbs, which you don't really want. But I would still love that out of one loose pack, etc. So let's see what we can get out of here these boxes go for around like thirty thousand dollars right now there hasn't been a lot of sales recently so hard to know but one pack of the 24 so somewhere around 1000 we will see i don't know if we're gonna pull anything but we're gonna enjoy it nonetheless you don't get to open these kind of packs very often we have fiend reflection number two that is a first edition common spike cedra the Mammoth Graveyard. We definitely need to do the pack trick for this. So let's go one more to the Firegrass. Now let's do this. 
Go like that. We have the Missouri Zame. Will the next one be Yame? Put it in the comments if you believe. Yame, Missouri Zame, Yame. Very cool to see that these first edition comments have good value. I mean, they're not going to make up for the $1,000, but they still have some good value. Witty Phantom. This guy is dressed in a night black tuxedo. This creature presides over death. Yeah, the Witty Phantom. He, he's, he's pretty crazy. Kagamusha of the Blue Flame. Yeah, Kagamusha had some retrains later on. The original set. Firegrass. Yeah, that guy, that's just a weird artwork. I mean, I never noticed these eyeballs up here until just now. And finally, a Dark Fire Dragon regular rare. Okay, so this is just a regular rare. I think this is actually one of the better ones because it's used in like goat format or something like that. So this is actually not terrible. We definitely took a big L on this, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All these old school packs. We didn't have the best pulls this time, but in the future, hopefully we will. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Stone Info Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duelist Game Cards, Mackie McFarland, and G Raider. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.